All right, so today I simply must review Terra Real Vegetable Chips Screaming Hot. Okay, that's what is the picture of these vegetable chips perhaps being cooked. You see the fire behind it. Maybe that's the method of which they cook the Screaming Hot. And it has parsnip, taro, sweet potato, and batata. Batata. So it's banana with T's instead of N's. Batata. Maybe it's from the same region. I'd be interested to know. So yeah, we got taro, sweet potato, batata, parsnip, and ruby dipped vegetables. So there's only four on the front, but there's five on the back, which is interesting. Very interesting. Why would they choose to do that? You know, why are ruby dipped vegetables resigned to having their description and, you know, photo on the back? Two forward-thinking chefs created Terra Chips. Huh. Yeah, so we're going to try the Screamin' Hot Chips. Hopefully I'm not screaming by the end of this review. But they will have done their job, and that will warrant a higher score if I am. And it also said right here, Easy Open Notch. And I've been looking for it. I was kind of taking a glance. I don't know what notch they could be referring to. Um... There's no kind of, like, thing to grab up here. All right, I'm going to assume it's the spine right here that you just grab and you pull the front. You know, maybe that's what's happening. I guess that wasn't particularly easier than any other bag of chips, to be honest. Okay, so let's try to get one of each. So we got parsnip, taro, sweet potato, batata, and ruby dipped vegetables. Okay, let's see. Here's our first one. This appears to be a ruby dipped vegetables, I think. Okay, here's parsnip. They've all got a red tinge to them. I believe that's the screaming hot flavor. Okay, that was taro. And let's see. Um, a little confused. Everything's red. I believe this is sweet potato. Yeah, that looks like the sweet potato. I'm not screaming yet. This is definitely sweet potato. I'll try this one. I'm not sure if that was sweet potato. I'm sorry, this is... This is the most confusing game I've ever played. We're trying whatever this is. That was pretty tender, to be honest. That one was like a tender chip. Like it was easy to crush it with my teeth. Um, this is maybe, maybe this is batata. Sorry if you're just like screaming at me like, he keeps eating the same one. What a psycho. I don't know the difference. What is this one? I have no clue what this one is. All of them are circular and this one's kind of a, a stretchy, a stretched tube. That one was pretty good, whatever that one was. Here's another one. I believe that's the taro. That's the one I can identify, I think, because it has, like, the, the little squiggles on it. Mmm. I think that's the ruby dipped vegetables.
Yeah, this is very confusing. That one was pretty spicy. That one had a lot of the spiciness kind of enveloping the chip. Some more. I appreciate the difference in the textures, you know. Chips are normally mono, mono, monotone, monoform maybe, monotextural. But these are good because they've got a variety of textures. Oh, getting a little bit of heat right now. It's a pleasant heat though. It's not as screaming hot yet. Maybe I'll just keep eating until I'm screaming. Snack and bite. Okay, so screaming hot. Oh, wow. Oh, get me for sure now that it did the snack and bite. That's what brings out the hotness. That's what will get you maybe to the screaming if you took a lot of snack and bites in a row. Ultimately, I think it's screaming hot is a toned down version of the flaming hot. Um, it's a similar flavor, I will say, to a lot of the flaming hot Lay's products. And it's good enough, like, I'm, I would pick these as a good snack and chip because it's got the variety of tastes, textures, flavors. Um, it's vegetable chips. I don't know if it's really healthier, but it, it's good to me. I think it tastes good. So I would prefer it for that reason. They're a little bit more expensive than regular chips. But, you know, if you, if you want premium, go for these. This is very good. I really enjoy this screaming hot flavor. Some kind of chili pepper pictured on the bag right there and I would get them again and I'm going to give this a 6 out of 12 